For today's recipe, I'm going to cook is Nyonya's satay goreng, rain cast, and hua kacang. So that is a simple pan fry Nyonya satay with spinach sauce. Okay, so let us go for the ingredients yeah but the ingredients will be quite a lengthy one you see and we have the gravy we have for the um, ingredient for the satay and as well the rice uh, that is the ketupat rice okay okay now firstly we go for the uh, the sauce uh, that is the chili paste ingredient so all I have here is um, 3 25 pieces of dry chili blended and then 300 gram of uh, ground nut already uh, also blended toasted and blended uh, and then five and a half tablespoon of sugar and there are some about eight pieces of a uh, blimping bulo this is optional if you have you can put otherwise you omit it okay and uh, one tea one teaspoon of salt and there are some oil for frying the paste yeah and this is the ingredients for the satay the chicken satay yeah? i have here cut chicken pieces in into two centimeter by two centimeter the thickness is about one centimeter or so yeah so this is about a 500 gram of chicken fillet breast or thai you can use either one so this is um cumin powder yeah yeah half a tablespoon and half tablespoon of turmeric powder and about four thai shallot and two galanga uh, sorry two three candle nuts and two stalks of uh, lemongrass and this is um Five tablespoons, five and a half tablespoon of uh, sugar and some salt, some salt. Okay. Uh, just now I think I told you this sugar is about for the sauce. Huh, it's about uh, two hundred and fifty gram. Yeah, not five and a half. But this is five and a half tablespoon. Yeah, for the satay. So here are some some of the. Uh, ketupat that is I bought from the uh, from the store which is a ready one so this you need to uh, soak it overnight yeah? soak it overnight and the next day you boil around one and a half hours is enough when you soak overnight the texture will be fine and uh, and it's very smooth also it's fine and then soft sorry it's fine and soft huh? so so this is all this is very easy you just boil it on the soup and boil and here are some turmeric water for the for the chili sauce huh? for the paste um, for the sauce okay and there are some water is thick you can add this about one cup of water and then this is about three cups of uh, water that is equivalent to you use about 60 gram of tamarind nah, to make it dilute uh, to squeeze it into the into a juice okay so now first of all i have to um blend the satay sauce first i need to marinate the satay at least about four hours at least four to five hours but anyway i have already pre uh, marinate a night before so I will show you how to prepare the satay 
okay, the piece, okay. Slice this much is enough for you. Yeah? You use this much now. The bottom and the candle nut. This is the uh, the piece that uh, onion, the candelan, and the saraya you blend and define. Okay, and add in the cumin powder, the turmeric, salt. Then mix well, okay? And the sugar. Sugar, I just put the less amount this. In case the taste is not that sweet, I will add more. Add in the chicken, yeah? And this chicken marinade you can be prepared a day before okay a day before because um, this is uh, the, the taste will much much uh, better because it absorbs all the spices uh, and then um, then you can keep it you freeze it uh, okay freeze it and then the next day then you can fry it or this one you can uh, there are two ways of preparing the satay of like burned it yeah the other way is by grill it okay the other way you can do is frying it frying is much simpler but grill of course the taste is uh, you enjoy eating it lah, with the stick or that lah. you use the satay stick just to trade in lah. so the thickness will be the same as this and then just treat it and then you can if you have the grill or the burner you can do the green one so if you don't have the choices fry it it's much easy the taste is more or less the same also yeah let's say you want to go for picnic you prepare it a day earlier so in next day you just put in the microwave or heat it up you can bring it along already Okay, this is done. Eh? So, I'll keep it aside. So now, the second preparation is uh, to prepare the uh, the sauce. Yeah, the sauce, uh, um, the chili. The chili is some sort like uh, sambal tumis paste. You see, exactly the same. If you want to prepare the sambal tumis, you can use the same paste omitting the peanut lah, then you add in anything prawns fish chicken anything okay or cuttlefish so the wok is already heated up now i'm going to add in the paste Yes, 
Hello everyone, sorry ya, uh, just now I didn't mention about the ingredient for the sambal ya, uh, for the sauce sambal ya, uh. so you just can refer to my recipe ya, uh. we use only dry chili, belacan, uh, that is uh, string paste, and then um, tender nut, uh, Thai shallot, and then um, that's it. Okay, I cut lachan, then the nut, dry chili, and then four cuts. Uh, four ingredients. Yeah, you just refer my recipe. Yeah. So now you fry until it becomes a bit uh, this, give out this uh, smell, and then the oil will be surface and you can see all over the in, in the in the chili yeah, surface so now you see the the paste is already fully uh, into, uh, already cooked yeah and then surface you see oil surface uh, so it's like crispy look already right the chili so now out the fire and I will transfer it into the pot. Another thing you see at the back of the ladle is clean of uh, chili paste. Otherwise, it stick more. You see, the ending is already well done. Okay. Okay. Now I will add in some of the tamarind water, yeah. Secondly, I will add in the peanut, yeah, the blended peanut. Huh? in the sugar and the salt so. I add in all the 150 gram of sugar into it. Huh? Then I will taste it again whether it's enough. Huh? Sati gravy must be sweet a bit and does a bit of taste of salt because uh, it's sour, not too sour. Yeah, the sourness not too much. Yeah. So now uh, towards the end only you add in the blimbing. Uh. Okay. Just let it boil for a few times, then we cut off it. So now it's ready, uh, the sauce. The sauce thickness uh, is like this, you see. 
this thickness. Because when it gets cold, it becomes thicker, you know. So when it is uh, still hot, it will be like this one. So I off the fire now. We go to the frying of satay, yeah. So this one, you need only um, a very little oil, eh? because this is non-stick pan, right? So now I'm going to put half of this meat into the pan. Eh? With slow fire, not high fire, yeah? So you can turn it, yeah. So let it uh, cook the other side. Yeah. I feel it becomes slightly like, like uh, you can see a burn like that. That smell nice, uh, nice, uh, it tastes better also. Okay, now the smell come out of it. It's very nice smell, you see. Smell of the cooling. a bit of oil This is done already, yeah. Hi there. So my satay goreng already done, yeah. This is uh, fried satay, simple and uh, not much uh, time consumed, right? Instead of grilling, you got to take longer time. So all you need is this satay, okay, fried satay, and then uh, this is um, um, big onion and some cucumber and the rice, okay. And this is the gravy, okay. I show you the gravy. All right, see the gravy. Then you eat with satay chilo. The gravy don't cannot be too thick lah. If you want to chill, you dip in with the stick. Eh? The satay will be a bit thick with this one. Just like this will be enough. And you can see the blimbit. And the taste is fantastic. Yeah. So, when you you can prepare all this overnight. You see? And then um, you heat it up for tomorrow for breakfast or for your lunch. Okay? For gathering. Well, that all will be done in a short while. So, that's why when I tell you just now, if you pre-soak uh, this instant ketupat, yeah, you see how the texture is, is very fine. 
you see it's very fine right texture is very fine and it's so soft right and so tender and nice to chew yeah. sometimes when they did a bit hard it's not nice to eat with ketupat yeah this ketupat is not that good so all you know all you know is you have learned to soak it overnight yeah so do it when you try for my recipe yeah okay thank you for watching my video hope more will come for the next coming weeks thank you